Carnival Celebration has been designed to truly celebrate 50 years of Carnival Cruises. This cruise ship is literally full of fun ship nostalgia, so keep watching because I'll be sharing all these little touches that are hidden in plain sight. If you're planning a cruise on this brand new ship and are looking for a fun way to spot all the things in this video, I've created a special Carnival Celebration scavenger hunt and you can download it for free and take on board. I've left a link in the description for you. Let's start on deck six of the Celebration Central Zone. This is probably the first area you'll see when you get on board. The Tropical Bar is here, named after the Carnival Tropical ship, which was the first ship to sport the iconic Carnival funnel. Here you can enjoy cocktails, wine and beer whilst enjoying the entertainment in the three-storey atrium. Carnival Tropical entered service in 1982 and was sold to various other cruise lines, including Costa Cruises, and was actually only scrapped in 2021. On the promenade in Celebration Central, you will spot the 1934 vintage Rolls Royce that was originally on Carnival Ecstasy. Carnival Ecstasy took its final cruise in October 2022 and earlier in the year the car was taken off by crane and transferred to Carnival Celebration. As you can see from this video from Carnival Cruises, the car was precisionly lifted out of a window on Carnival Ecstasy before being sent to the shipyard in Finland to be loaded onto Carnival Celebration. In the atrium on deck 7 is the Aquaria Bar. Look closely at the ocean-themed glass mural pulled from Carnival Victory before she became Carnival Radiance. This is such a cool feature and just one of the many nostalgic touches you will spot on Carnival Celebration. This is such a creative way to include an element from an old cruise ship onto this brand new one. Let's move on to the area on Carnival Celebration that is completely dedicated to fun ship nostalgia, the Golden Jubilee. The Golden Jubilee is named in honour of 50 years of Carnival Cruises. This bar is literally filled with nostalgia. Before you even enter this new bar, you are met with the original glass nightclub doors from TSS Carnival, so you physically walk through Carnival's history. If you look carefully, you can spot the mirror inserts integrated into the bar front and bottle display. These are inspired by the etched glass inserts of TSS Carnival's main lobby doors. The floor tiles around the bar have a maple leaf pattern reminiscent of the maple leaf motif from the Grand Ballroom on TSS Mardi Gras. Overhead are blueprints showing the evolution of Carnival's fun ships, including some hand-drawn designs by Carnival architect Joe Farkas. This is part of an original etched glass, nickel and mahogany partition wall with 24 window panes from the original Mardi Gras Casino. Inside the Jubilee Bar are cocktail tables from Carnival Fascinations Hollywood Boulevard that have sketches representing movie classics from iconic caricaturist Al Hirschfeld. The chairs you can see were recreated from Carnival's Riverboat Lounge. Protected in a case is the original bronze statue of Carnival founder Ted Arison and Finnish shipbuilder Martin Sarakangas, given as a gift from the Helsinki shipyard that built Carnival Sensation. In the background, you may also spot the round portholes that were typically found on the original Carnival ships. Everything in the Golden Jubilee means something, so spend some time here and raise a glass to 50 years of fun ships. The specialised bar menu features an early version of the Lined logo from the 70s and the most popular cocktails throughout the decade since 1972 are on the menu. Just outside the Golden Jubilee you'll spot coins on the floor that represent every carnival ship through its 50 years history. Along the wall are a series of dioramas that reflect every decade of carnival cruises so you can literally step back in time and see what it was like to cruise with carnival through the ages. There was also the original engine telegraph that was installed on TSS Carnival in 1955 and it's guaranteed to be a popular photo opportunity. Next, let's take a look at the main dining rooms. Both have been named after former Carnival cruise ships. Next to the Golden Jubilee is the Carnival main dining room with a model of the original ship at the entrance. Carnival was the second Carnival ship that entered service in 1975 and was formerly Empress of Britain. The Carnival restaurant has assigned seating for dinner. The other main dining room on Carnival Celebration is the Festival restaurant and this is where you can come for breakfast, sea day brunch, lunch and dinner with your time dining. This is the larger of the two dining rooms on board and spans deck 6 and 7. It's named after the third ship in the Carnival fleet. 
This dining room has a distinctive 70s retro vibe in keeping with the festival ship. On to the 820 Biscayne Zone on Carnival Celebration, and this zone is named after the address of the original headquarters of Carnival Cruises in Miami. There are no original pieces from any of the older Carnival cruise ships here, but it's cool to name this area after the origins of the cruise line. Carnival Cruise Line is a classic tale of the American dream. It was started by the late Ted Arison in 1972 with a second-hand ship and just enough fuel to make a one-way trip from Miami to San Juan. The rest, as they say, is history, but Carnival Cruises pays homage to so many ships on Carnival Celebration, I felt it deserved a video highlighting the many creative and thoughtful ways that 50 years are being celebrated on this ship. I hope you found this video interesting. To explore the rest of Carnival Celebration, you should watch this video next, which gives you a breakdown of the six zones on Carnival Celebration.